Welcome to this FunctionX tutorial on how to delegate your FX in the FX wallet. In this tutorial I will go over a short description of what delegating is, the steps on how to delegate and the risks involved. In this tutorial I am using the Android version, but the iOS version should be a similar experience. What is delegating? In short it is a bit like staking, but with some extra rules. Delegating is lending the voting power of your FX to a validator that confirms blocks on the Function X blockchain. This is part of the governance to secure the network together with the community. For lending the voting power you build up rewards. This reward will be expressed and paid out in the form of your API, the annual interest, which is calculated and credited every few seconds. How to delegate? So, you want to join the club and delegate your coins. First, you need the FX wallet by Pundix Labs on your mobile device. See my installation guide tutorial on how to get your own FX wallet. Next, make sure you transfer your FX from the Ethereum blockchain to the FX core. Please see my cross-chain tutorial on how to send Ethereum chain FX to the FX core. Once you have your FX on the FX core, go to the crypto bank page on the FX wallet. From there you can select the delegation button. Here you will see all available validators you can delegate your coins to. Select the validator you wish to delegate to. Keep in mind that you can only delegate your FX into one validator per delegation transaction. This means that if you want to spread your coins over multiple validators, you need to do the transaction for each validator separately. When you have chosen the validator, you need to select from which wallet address to delegate your FX from. The app will show automatically which wallets have FX to delegate. Enter the amount of FX you want to delegate to that validator. Keep in mind that you need to leave some behind to pay for the transaction fee and claim fees. Around 5 to 10 FX should be enough. Confirm the delegation. Wait a few seconds for the transaction to complete and now you can check your delegated amount and the rewards in the view my delegations tab. Rewards. You can also claim your rewards in the validator screen in the view my delegation section. You must wait 8 hours since the first time you delegate into that validator to claim your FX reward. Afterwards you can claim whenever you like. Please note that both withdrawal requests and undelegated requests will require gas fees. Redelegating slash compounding. You can also redelegate your FX into your chosen validator via the validator screen by tapping the validator and then tap delegate. Note that when you delegate new FX into a validator you already delegated to, the build up reward is automatically paid out saving you transaction fees for the claiming of your reward. It is possible to calculate the block reward via the calculator in the description. You can also use my personal FX API reward calculator to get a fair estimate on how your rewards are in the future in the link below. Undelegating. When you want your coins back to trade or sell, you must undelegate them via the undelegate button in the validator screen. To stabilize the blockchain, the delegated amount of FX will take 21 days to be unlocked after the undelegation withdrawal request has been made. Penalties. Understand that there is also a couple of risks involved with delegation. FX Core sees every single validator node and the delegators that delegate their voting power to that validator node as a whole. Therefore, both validator and delegator will receive the same treatment proportionally regardless of whether this is a reward or a penalty. The penalties can be split into two groups, downtime and failure to sign and double spend slash signal. The downtime can be for any reason like a power outage or internet outage. After the outage lasts 5% or more after 20,000 blocks, which is roughly 30 hours of downtime before penalties apply. If this happens, the validator can't sign blocks for 10 minutes for each instance and 0.1% of your delegated FX is taken out as a penalty. This is rare but can occur due to circumstances. The second reason for penalties is double spending slash signaling. This is a malicious action that does not occur naturally and is penalized heavily. First, the validator is permanently locked out of the process and a 5% cut is made of all delegated FX including yours. It's important to note that this is an incredibly rare event to occur 
and that a validator themselves would also lose a significant amount of money in such a case. I hope this guide has cleared up what delegating is, how to participate and what risks are involved. Please refer to the hash out in the description for a written version of these instructions. That's it for now, let me know in the comments, join the community by subscribing to the channel and via the community links below. And if you feel like leaving a tip, you can do so via the tip addresses in the description. See you on the chain.